Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Coriel and today I am going to be showing you my personal planner setup for 2020. I have all of my planners stacked here. So this is my personal. This is my A5 project planner and blog planner. My iPad, which I use as a digital planner. And then my fitness and health planner. So I'm going to move these out of the way because today we are going to be talking about the personal planner. Now, my personal planner is my everyday planner and it is the Louis Vuitton MM Monogram Agenda. So this is a six ring agenda um, and it fits personal sized uh, inserts. So I use this as my everyday planner, my catch-all planner. I have had this for about a year. Um, I got it for Christmas as a Christmas present in 2018. So I used it all throughout 2019 and I love it. So yeah, this is the planner front back. I'm sure you've seen it all over YouTube. Um, yeah, I'm going to just take you in section by section. So right off the bat, you, you can see that I'm a very minimal planner. Um, I like my decorations minimal and a lot of my accessories and inserts are from cloth and paper because I just love their luxe minimalist designs, hence the name of the channel that is my aesthetic. So um, I love their stuff. So this is the view you see when I first open my planner. I have a few decorations here, um, like these cloth and paper sticky notes, and this cloth and paper journaling card that came in my January subscription box. I have my monthly priorities listed there. I also have some days highlighted where I'm going to be traveling and then some days off. I love these so she gave us one for every month. Um, so excited about those and then we also received these journaling cards. We received this color and also we received them in white and basically it is, let's see if we can get this to focus. It is a journaling card that lets you write out a to-do list. You can circle all the day of the week, the month, and also write the date here. You can stick them in the front pockets like I have or you can even clip them to one of your pages. So I thought those were really cool. And then I have the 2020 Vellum dashboard from Cloth and Paper. Um, also got this in my January subscription box. It was a really good box. Um, as you'll see, I have a lot of those accessories in this planner right now. So yeah, I really love this. It's like a thick vellum. And then that this dashboard is also from Cloth and Paper. It's this pink dashboard with a line drawing of a face. Um, love that. So pink is going to be the only like real color I have in my agenda and I like these soft pinks like this. Um, so then I have my inbox dashboard which is also from cloth and paper um, with two different uh, cloth and paper sticky notes. So I have this gray one and then I have the to do one that I just use as my my first look at what I have to do and this is just like overall to do's um, that don't really have due dates and then I'll write like little reminders to myself right there. Next I also have this um, infinite lotus dashboard that I got custom made to say my name so it just says Coriel E owner of this planner. I ordered these in 20 19? Not sure. But at the beginning of the year, um, and it came with two, so I used one last year, and now I'm using this one for 2020. And then this also came in the cloth and paper subscription box. This is the um, 2020 
dashboard. It's like a card stock paper. It feels really nice. And the white is matte and then the black parts are um, shiny. Then I have my yearly overview from Infinite Lotus. So this just has all of the months. Um, just a quick look at all of the months. And this came as a bundle. So you have room for um, every month and you can write down important dates for each month. So it's kind of like pre-planning for the year. And then you also get the goal section with that bundle. So it's it has the 2020 vision, it has the top goals, and then it has a bucket list. I just covered that up because my goals are personal to me. But yeah, you can write your goals there and then you can write a bucket list for 2020. And then you have the quarterly review section. So you can write your accomplishments for the quarter, improvements, notes, and you have four sections like that for every quarter. And then we go into my schedule section. So I, this is where I keep my appointments um, for the month, my monthly to-do list, my weekly list, and my daily list. So first I have my monthly inserts. So that was from January. I have March. I have a little sticky note because I have a trip coming up to Miami and I needed to write down what I want to pack. And then I have these. Oh, I have a monthly to-do list for February. This carried over from January, so I just moved it to my February section. But I just write my monthly to-do list on this insert, and this is from Infinite Lotus. And then I have this dashboard, this clear plastic dashboard that says today. Um, and it's like a top tab dashboard. And this is from Cloth and Paper. It also came in our January subscription box. And I like that it's dry. It can You can use a dry erase marker on it. Or you can just use sticky notes on it. Um, and I like this as a page marker to find out um, where I left off in my planner. Then I have my weekly inserts from Infinite Lotus. And this is where I write my weekly schedule, my priorities, and then my to-do list for the week. And there's also a memo section here. So yeah, this is what a blank one looks like. And then I have my daily inserts. So you can write your top three priorities. You can write a little note for today. You can write out your schedule here. And then your to-do list here, your meals, you can track your water. Yeah, you can track your water there, meals, and then your self-care routine. So love those. I don't use these often um, because I don't have a bunch to do every day. I just work, I work for most of the day, so um, I don't need to schedule in there because that's just a recurring schedule. But yeah, so then I can show you what my monthly inserts look like. So I'll show you April because um, I haven't planned for April yet. But yeah, this is the cloth and paper monthly inserts. And basically you have like a little list area here. And then you have the full monthly view on two pages. And then she has like the holidays listed. And then you have the month before and month after at the top. So that is it for my schedule section. Next we have my list section. So I love to make lists. I'm a list maker. Um, so, oh, also these dividers are from Cloth and Paper. It's the Frosted Dashboard. I think it's a CEO um, set. And I got the gold. Um, I got it in the gold writing. So yeah, this is my list section. The first list I have here um, is a list for books I want to read this year. And I'm doing a great job by checking them off. And yeah, I have some places I want to try in New Orleans. And then I have this dashboard from Bunny Plans. I love Bunny Plans. Her stuff is so cute. So I just have this little planner girl planning out her day. And that just separates my um, 
these lists from like my shopping list. So this is um, a shopping list I have from Sessa V. I have stores I wrote down, places to try, resources, things to buy. So yeah, as you can see, I love a good list. And then I have this. So this is a blank divider. This was my project divider, but it broke um, right here. So Cloth and Paper was kind enough to send me a blank one to replace it. So this is my project section, and right here I have my capsule wardrobe list. I'm going to try that for spring, summer. I have some things, <laughs> some personal style notes. And then I have another dashboard from Bunny Plans. And this is where I'm planning my birthday trip. So I'm planning to go to California right now. That might change. Who knows? Um, and then I have another Bunny Plans insert. And I have a little sticky note right here to remind me of what I want to do for my room makeover. And then I have these memo inserts from cloth and paper, which were so cool. Like, they came with different styles. So, there's dot paper, line paper, blank, and then grid. And then I have my finances section. So, I'm not going to go too in-depth with this section because it's personal and private. But, yeah, this is my finance section. And this dashboard is from cloth and paper as well. It came It came in the January subscription box. But I'm going to show you the inserts that I keep in here. So, I keep an insert for bills and for the orders that I place online. So, right here you can write the date, the description, the amount, the amount paid, and then um, you can check it off when you pay it. So, I make one of these for each month of the year and just list out all of my bills just so I can keep track of them and then for this side it's um, basically the same thing but for orders that you place online so date description what and where um, the amount if it was shipped and then if you received it so this is a great little tracker because sometimes I'm like okay did my order ship yet like sometimes I forget about the things that I order so these both are for, from Sesame and I think that might be the only thing that I can show you in this section. Oh no, wait, there's one more. So, I don't care if you see my orders. So, um, this is a savings tracker that I just got from Infinite Lotus. One of my goals for this year is to save more money. Um, so, I love these because you can write different goals. So, basically, if I wanted to save for... I don't know. I'm gonna so if I want to save for a camera. That's not what I'm saving for. But if I want to save for my, for a camera, I will put camera, and then you will say the goal amount, the goal date. So when you wanna achieve this goal, and then the start date and the date you actually achieved it. You write the date that you made the deposit, the amount it was, the balance that you're at for the savings goal and then how much you have left to save for that goal so i really really like these inserts and i've been using it for my different savings goals after these inserts i have some notes inserts that basically track like all of my accounts what i'm using them for like if i have a credit card that earns miles like then i'll write like say i have delta american express so then i'll say like it gets two points, it gets two miles on restaurants and grocery stores. So I'll write that down just as a reminder to use that when I go to the grocery stores and stuff like that. And then, yeah, so I just have some finance notes after this section. So next, my goal section, um, I got this, these inserts from Cloth and Paper as well, I think in the December subscription box um if you are not signed up for their subscription box and you're into planning you definitely should um but yeah so anyway i wrote down my goals and you can write like one month three month six month in a year and then you write different areas of your life um that you want to focus on so mine are fitness um career finances 
and I think personal, like my personal life. So yeah, those are, like I said in the beginning, pretty personal, so I'm not going to show those. But I like to keep that um, in here and keep track of that. And then after that, I have some memo papers from Cloth and Paper again. So just blank notes so I can write down my thoughts. And then here I have some notes to myself, basically motivation and encouragement. And I'll write this down if I'm looking, listening to a podcast or um, watching a church service or something like that. And then I'll also just write down my goals and thoughts for myself and what I want to improve on, improve on for the year. And then I have my miscellaneous section. So this is for my health and fitness. So this is just an overview of what I plan to do for the year, how I want to improve my health and fitness. Um, basically, this is just a brief or overview because I have a separate health and fitness planner to keep me on track with that and track workouts and all of that and if you want to see um a video on that just let me know or if you want to see a video on any of the planners that i showed in the beginning of this video let me know yeah so i have my plan what i plan to do this year to get on track i have my routines what i want to do daily weekly and monthly then I have my rewards tracker for every time I hit one of my goals, um, which I'm actually probably not going to follow this, but it's just something to, to keep in mind. And then I have a list of at-home workouts that I like to do because I hate the gym. Then I have a list of habits that I want to track. And I have another dashboard from Bunny Plans. This is a little cute planner girl. And I love that she has like all skin tones in her planner girl. So I really appreciate that. And then I have this um, Today um, divider or bookmark. I have no idea where I got this from. It could be from cloth and paper. I think it might be, but I'm not sure. And then I have my cloth and paper habit track tracker which I love this is one I wrote out for next week so um, I track my a.m. habits and my p.m. track habits um, I always forget to track them I, I stopped tracking them like on Wednesday I always forget about it but um, I'm trying to be better about that and then she has a section where you can do a recap and reflect on how you did for the month I mean how you did for the week so I like that then I have my meal planner also from cloth and paper and then I have um, some note paper from mint to sugar where I write down some meals that um, some healthy meals that I want to try or that I want to make for the week. So my meal planner I write out what I'm going to be eating for the week and yeah I do this probably I, I, the goal is to do. The goal is to do this every Sunday, so to look at my Pinterest board, to look at my list of meals and plug them in and then actually go to the grocery store and make groceries um, so I can have my meals for the week. Then I have, I don't know, some recipes, well a recipe for a smoothie. <laughs> I have my grocery list and then I have some blank um, meal planner inserts here. Now I have a folder from Cloth and Paper, um, pink folder, and this is just like a catch-all folder that I recently cleaned out, but normally it has like receipts or something in there. And then these I got from this girl I found on Instagram. I'll leave her name on the screen and also her link in the description box, but she makes these Louis Vuitton pouches. Um, so they're like holographic as you can see and I thought this was so cute and I was using these when I was doing a cash wallet system I'm not doing that anymore um, but I would use this planner as a wallet too so I'm not doing that anymore so I'm trying to figure out how I want to use these now and I might go back to that system but right now I, I don't think it's the best thing for me so but I love these I got two different colors 
I forget the names of these colors. I want to say this is opal and then this is holographic. It's so nice. I love them. I love looking at them. Um, I kind of want like a dashboard like this. Oh my god. I should ask her if she can make that. Okay. Anyway, I'll leave her link below. Then I have my little wallet section. Like I said, I use, I used to use this as a wallet. So I have my Starbucks card, my Disney card, um, Space and K. I have my Target red card. Um, it's the back of that other card. I have my insurance card. And then I have some empty card um, holders. And then I have the Louis Vuitton stickers that came with last year's agenda inserts. Um, I had those last year. The paper was super thin and it was like this off, this cream color that didn't go with any of my other inserts. So I didn't end up using them, but I do like the stickers and I like how they look in this little folder that I got from Cloth and Paper, I believe. Oh, these are follow facts, by the way. I got these from Amazon. Then I have just some random stuff back there. Pictures, subway cards. And then this was the divider that broke the um, project. So I just use it as like a protector for my pages. And then lastly I have my back pocket which is, just has some stickers. So these are the dot stickers from Cloth and Paper. And I use these on my monthly Overview to notate paydays when my bills are due um, or anything else that I need to notate. And then I have these stickers from Cloth and Paper. Um, I forget what these are called, but basically it's like for shopping. So it says organize, donate, dry clean laundry, shopping, store return. So yeah, I love these. Um, but I haven't had a chance. To, oh, actually, I have used a store return one before. But I don't normally plan my shopping, which I probably should. I don't plan laundry or any of these other things, really. I just do them when I feel like it. So, um, yeah. And then this is just a list of dimensions that I need um, from my room. So I can start shopping for furniture and decor and stuff like that. For my little makeover project that I'm working on. I have never talked this much in my life, so I'm like out of breath. Oh my god. Um, but yeah, that was my <laughs> personal planner set up for 2020. Um, I'm going to link everything that I can find below. I hope you liked this video. If you want to see videos on my other planners, my um, health and fitness planner, or my project and blog planner, then let me know. I'm happy to show you. Um, but I'm just happy to be making videos again, so I hope you enjoyed this one. And if you did, give it a like and also leave a comment. And if you, you're not already subscribed, I'd love for you to join the fam. So yeah, I will talk to you guys in my next video.